Okay guys, hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you some information about the atypical symptoms for sinusitis. Sinusitis, as we mentioned, it is the inflammation of the sinuses that we have. So by right, these sinuses should be filled with air when it's normal, but when get infection, it will be filled with the pus. So this pus, this fluid will cause heaviness, pain, infection, and inflammation that will be reflected as fever, nasal drip, or uh, pain, facial pain, or heaviness. Okay, these are the typical symptoms. And as I mentioned in my other video, we have acute, subacute, and chronic sinusitis. Depends on how long your uh, infection lasting. So four weeks, acute. Four to 12 weeks, subacute. More than 12 weeks, we call it chronic sinusitis. Okay. So I have discussed with you the typical symptoms of sinusitis. Now let me let me uh, introduce to you the atypical symptoms of sinusitis, which are the very famous one: pain over your upper jaw or pain in the dental or your teeth, especially the upper part. Why? Because the roots of the upper teeth are connected and very close into our sinuses. So when we have a pain in the sinus, and when we have a pain in the teeth it will be reflected in the sinuses. And if we have pain in the sinuses, it will be reflected as a pain in the teeth. So it's connected. So sometimes confused, you will go to the dentist, will check your teeth, will check if you have any dental caries or gum disease, notice there is nothing, but you feel some pain here. So the clever one will tell you, go and check with your ENT specialist, check your sinuses, there might be some infection reflecting on your teeth. Okay. Second atypical symptoms of sinusitis is the bad breath. Those with sinusitis will usually complain of kind of bad breath, bad smell, because usually they will have a blockage. They cannot use the nose, so they will breathe from the mouth, and that will cause dryness into the mouth and inflammation, infection in your tonsillitis and your pharynx, so that will produce some kind of bad breath. Okay, third, a typical symptoms of sinusitis, the patients will complain of headache. So that kind of headache may make the patient be confused. They think it is kind of a normal headache or a tension headache or a migraine or others, but no. When you have a, a liquid inside the sinuses and you have infection, that will be reflected on your head and cause some kind of headaches. And that headaches will be more when you lean forward and that will increase the pressure on your face. Okay, so these are the atypical symptoms of sinusitis. And I have one video talking about the consequences of sinusitis. Please, if you like, go and check about it. And we will continue with you with videos related to sinusitis, eczema, general health illnesses, and some other topics. Okay. What are the best treatment for sinusitis? As we mentioned, there are natural things like probiotics, especially the Lactobacillus sacchi ProBio 65 is very good to clear the inflammation and infection of your sinuses because it balances your immune system. Second, it will produce a balance in the, um, the variety of the bacteria that we have. It is a natural antibiotic, a natural antimicrobials, so it will defeat and kill the bad bacteria that you have, especially the Staphylococcus, aureus, and others. And also, there are some kind of vitamin C and fibers enrich that probiotics to make it strong and produce the best health for your sinuses. Other options, you go for your ENT, they might prescribe for you some sprays, steroids, or tablets, antibiotics, depends on the case. But for me, I don't really prefer to go for uh, chemical or antibiotics or these things. If there is something natural, go and do it. Okay, let me brief you something or about the home remedies that could help to reduce the inflammation and infection of your sinuses, sinusitis. You could use some hot packs or use some uh, steam. Okay, it will help to open uh, your uh, blocked sinuses. Second, drink plenty of water to reduce the thickness of the mucus that are blocking the things here. If you have a polyps and if you have some nasal deviation, for sure that one needs some kind of surgery. 
um, vitamin C is good. Um, have a good rest, enough sleep will make you feel better and boost your immune system. And we hope you all get benefits from these home remedies. If you have any question, please write for us and we'll be there to answer. Thank you so much. Take care.